Hey guys, Steve here. Today I'm going to show you my new project I did using my Raspberry Pi and Amazon Echo. And it's out in my garage. So let's go. Alexa, turn the garage door on. That's right. I made my Amazon Echo open my garage door. Now I'm going to show you how to do it. So this is my setup. This is my Raspberry Pi Zero W. And this is a four port relay switch. Um, I got this on Amazon, it was $7. And it was the best deal I could find for the number of ports it has. This has four, one, two, three, and four. And all I did was I bought these jumper wires that I soldered onto the back side of the Raspberry Pi Zero. This runs off of five volts. So there's a five volt, there's a ground, and then there's four control wires. How this works is when anytime you send out a ground signal from the Raspberry Pi, to the relay switch, it'll turn the relay switch on. The way that I have it set up is I have these two wires that come out of the relay switch and this runs into my garage door opener. When you go into your garage, you usually have that button that you press to open the garage door. Well, this is runs in the exact same spot on the garage door opener. I just trace the wires back from the wall and I patch these two wires into that as well. So anytime that I tell Alexa to turn the garage door on, she's gonna send out a ground signal from the Raspberry Pi to here for one second, which will then close the switch, make those two wires contact each other, and then it'll tell the garage door to open up, and then after one second, this will turn off, and the wires will separate again, and I'll be ready for the next time you tell Alexa to open the garage door. In a few seconds here, I will show you how to wire this up, but in the meantime, I will show you what happens and the sound that it makes when Alexa opens the garage. So soldering onto the Raspberry Pi Zero is really easy. These jumper wires I bought um, go from female to a male end. So there's a little pin that sticks out at the end of the wire. So I push the wires through the holes. As you can see, there's a bunch of holes that are still open. Flip the board over and then easily solder from the back side. So then the pins stick through and now they are connected to the relay. So this setup can be hooked up to any sort of Raspberry Pi. I'm just using a Raspberry Pi Zero W for my project. And I'm going to show you the wiring diagram on the computer here so it's a little clearer to see compared to me just showing you the complete setup. So here is an enlarged image of my relay. On the right hand side you'll see the six connectors that hook up to the Raspberry Pi. The top one is your VCC, that is your 5 volts. The bottom one is the ground connector and then there's four connectors in the middle. So if you look at the Raspberry Pi, this is the pinout for the Raspberry Pi Zero. The top left pin is pin 1. Pin two is right next to it. Pin three is right below one, four, five, six. You'll kind of see that pattern. The very top one, which is the VCC five volts, we're gonna hook that to pin two. The second pin is pin seven. So if you go one, three, five, seven. Third pin down is gonna be 11. Fourth pin, 13th, 15th. And this pin nine um, is gonna be hooked to the ground. So the very bottom of the relay is gonna be hooked to pin nine because that is ground. Now that we've physically hooked up the Raspberry Pi to the relay, let's go ahead and talk about our code. If you've seen my other videos that show me using Alexa to control my TiVo, this is the exact same code, just modified a little bit. The program that we're using is FOMO. It was created by someone a lot smarter than me, but I was able to modify it for my situation. Everything I've written, I've put up on my GitHub, and I'll show you how to download that code and how to edit it. So let's take a look on the computer. Once you log into the Raspberry Pi, let's go ahead and we'll install the Git app in case it's not already installed on your Raspberry Pi. So type sudo app-git space install space git. This will take several minutes to install. Right here, you'll see that I have already installed git, so we can move on to the next step. Now we can type sudo git clone https colon slash slash github.com slash shiraki2 slash alexa underscore garage dot git. And this will copy the files from the GitHub website to the Raspberry Pi. So if we type ls, we can see that Alexa Garage has been downloaded. So now we can switch into that file, cd Alexa underscore garage ls. Now there are three files that were downloaded. The one that we're going to be editing is garage.py. So type sudo nano garage.py. So here is our code right near the top. This is where we import our GPIO pins. We'll set our mode to board. That way we are referring to the pins as how they set up on the board. And this very first section is going to set up our GPIO pins all the high. That way we can make sure all the relays are turned off. Because remember, high is off. 
low is on for the relays. Then we're gonna pause for half a second. That way we make sure that the pins are set to high, which will then turn off the relay. Next, this is the section right here under channels. This is where we name the garage door. So we're telling Alexa to program the garage door. Right under triggers, garage door again. So these have to be the same. And here I've set up extra code so that you can program other things. So whatever you change up here, make sure you change in this section under triggers, the match. Then as we go down, this is where we actually do our programming. So if you looked at the top where it says channels, garage door is 10,001. When we go down here to our state true, so if we tell Alexa to turn on the garage door, which is true, which is 10,001, we're gonna set GPIO pin output of number seven to low, which will then turn on the relay. We're gonna tell the Raspberry Pi to sleep for one second. And then we're gonna tell GPIO output of number seven to go high, which will then turn off the relay. So if you physically hooked up the Raspberry Pi like I showed you, you shouldn't have to edit any of this code. But if you do make any changes, hit Control X to save it. So to run our code, we're just gonna type Python garage.py. And now that you see that the code is up and running and four items have been registered and are waiting for Alexa. So now what we have to say is Alexa, discover devices. Now Alexa is gonna search for these devices. She's only gonna look for 20 seconds, which is only enough time for her to learn 12 devices. You can have more than 12 devices in your code, but you have to train her 12 at a time. Now that she's learned these 12 devices, now we can tell her to open the garage door. To do so, you have to either tell her on or off. So Alexa, turn the garage door on. Okay. And now the garage door is open. To stop this code from running, hit Control C. If we want to have this code start up every time that the Raspberry Pi boots, type sudo nano slash etc slash rc dot google. And if you follow down the line, down to the bottom, right before the exit zero, you'll see that I have these three lines that I've all added or different code that I'm running. So you can just add a new line. And at the end of the line, make sure you put the and symbol. Done, hit control X to exit out, hit Y to save it, enter, and then type sudo reboot. Now the system will reboot and your code will be running in the background. Well, I hope you guys found this video interesting. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and I will try to answer them. And be sure to check the video description for anything I may add after I post this video. And be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I will have more Raspberry Pi videos coming out, including some more home automation. So thanks for watching, guys. Have a good night.